hope you're doing well today I got the banjo out and we are going to do some embellishing okay so what I'm gonna do here is play the first part of one of my favorite songs just a couple of measures of it and we're gonna experiment and go through the different things you can do to make that sound fancy okay so I'm gonna bring the camera in a little closer on the left hand so we can see this okay for more lessons, tabs, videos, all kinds of extras, head on over to BanjoLemonade.com. I've got a whole bunch of membership levels over there, and they start as low as just five bucks a month. So, hope to see you over there. All right, so, for the song, this is what we're gonna play, Wildwood Flower. So, here we go, most basic version. All right, so that's our just, Basic melody notes with a couple of brushes in there, right? Okay, now, what can we do? Well, we can add some double thumbing in when we've got those single notes. So let's start there. All right, so right there, we've got something we can do. Alright, so I just added double thumb. Now, remember how I said before, let's not add double thumbing in every single time. Let's vary it up. So here's what it would sound like varied up a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's just a couple of different variations on our double thumbing. Right? Now what if we add some hammer-ons as well? Okay. Now what if we just got off of this first string altogether and stayed on the second string? Wow. Okay, that just opened up a whole new world, didn't it? Because there's a lot you can do. So you can stay partially on the first string if you want. You can go here to the fifth fret, or you can go down here, the same note, right? Okay. See how we can change things up? All right. Just did that a whole bunch of different ways, okay? Now, let's say we want to do this hammer on here, but let's make it a little fancy. Okay. So I did a hammer on pull off there. So there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. Okay, you see how there's just so many things we can do. So let's go to the next part. That's the most simple way to play it, right? So let's try to vary that. Okay, that was a whole bunch of stuff. So, you see, there's a lot of different ways to play stuff. Alright, alright, let me show you this lick I'm doing here in the uh, second part. 
there. So for the first part, I'm just going to go slow here. So that lick is pretty cool. So we're just playing around within that D7 chord there. Now, you're going to find that you can use this a lot when you're playing that D7 chord in a lot of songs. So let me just isolate this lick for you. So we come into it doing a pull off at the first fret second string. Then we do a strum thumb and then we come over to the second fret of the th of the third string. Okay? And then instead of doing any strumming, we're going to do a hammer on pull off at the first fret there of the second string. Then we're doing the third string second fret again and a thumb. Okay, and then the open third string, strum thumb, turn around, which you better already know this, you guys. If you don't, go back to my three good exercises videos. Um, you need those turnarounds. So let's do that again from the top of that D7 chord. So I isolate things and drill them is how I learn them. So you might want to try that. So I'm just going to play through it a couple times here slowly for you. Now the hardest part of this is going to be your hammer on pull off because you've got some timing to think about there at that first fret of the second string. And when I do that pull off it helps me to kind of do that little scrape thing. All right. So here we go from the top. So drill that work on it. Um, that lick will, will take you far um, with that D7 chord. Now, if you need to, you can shorten it, make it longer, whatever you want to do. You could do that too. See, you find things as you mess around as well. So let's see, at the beginning there, um, and you see that is your your fourth fret of your third string is your open second string. So another good um, D7 lick here. So if you've got a D7 chord the whole point in all this is just to get you to start thinking when you're doing these chords what else can I do here? And <coughs> excuse me. And things are gonna <coughs> excuse me. And things that are gonna help you are remembering those scale notes. Right? And your G scale <coughs> Wildwood Flower, we're playing it in G there. So um, you start 
putting your head and wrapping your head around these things, okay? Um, and then you start messing around within your chords. And you can come up with some very cool little licks that you can use all over the place. Okay, so I'm not going to give you tab with this. I want you to watch the video. I want you to think about it and um, try to experiment around. This really is goes way beyond the scope of Wildwood Flower song, okay? Um, this goes into going from that G, transitioning into that D7, and coming out of it. And things you can do, okay? Um, and I just, that was just the tip of the iceberg there. There's a whole lot more you can do all over the place. Um, I just wanted to start giving you some ideas about that sort of thing. See what I did there? So here's a couple ways. I just got my notes from a different spot. Okay, so I'm using the fifth fret there on the second and the first string because that's the notes I need. It's the same notes, all right? So you're just wrapping your head around this, okay? Experiment when you're doing this. Don't be locked into that tab, okay? And that's why I tell people, please don't get locked into that tab. I know everybody wants tab, especially when you get into my uh, more intermediate level stuff, everybody really wants tab. But I hesitate. Um, I'm not just being lazy, not wanting to give you the tab. Um, you want your mind to be free and open here. You, you want your ear to be working and hearing the notes. <laughs> That's just your basic melody notes, okay? If you can hear those in your head, you can find them all over the place and experiment and have fun, okay? All right, so that's about enough on this extra video, but I wanted to give you just a little bit more there, okay? I hope you enjoyed it. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it. And before I go, I always wanna remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.